Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video and we're actually going to be playing a new game. A new game in beta. So, first of all, I just want to mention this is not sponsored in any way. It may look like it, but it's not. And this is a closed beta, so be very patient. There will be a lot of lag I've already been through. It. Most of my gameplay actually has been lag, but it's in closed beta, so it's kind of expected, right? So, this is going to be a new game from Square Enix called Echoes of Mana. So it's a continuation or some other from the Mana games of Mana games. So if you've played all those, you'll fit right into this one. I have not played any of them, but this is a very nice continuation of how the global version of Rave Exvius has put in uh, the Mana characters. So I think this is a very nice game to play while that's happening on the Brave Exvius. Um, I might say, hey, you haven't played any of the mana games, so you don't know what's going on. Well, that could be a good thing because I'm coming in with a fresh mind. I know a lot. Of, I know all the characters. I know Charlotte, Randy, Prim, you know, all those characters. I know all the characters, Hawkeye. I know all their names, but I never played the game. So at the same time, maybe it's kind of a bad thing where I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know, I translated some of the lore already. Um, same as you're on an adventure. And so... When the game begins, you have the choice of playing a male or female. You can't, as, as of this as of this video, apparently you can't change that. So you got to make that decision and whether you want to play male or female. It, sa it says that uh, when I translated, it said you couldn't change it, but maybe in the future you'll, you'll be able to. So when you get into the game, you'll get some story, a lot of story, good voice acting, by the way, good voice acting. Um, and so you'll get into the game. You'll get if I, this is a gacha game, so there is a gacha. But it's pretty generous that you you only get to, you only get to roll one character, but you it's pretty generous that you keep keep really rolling into the character that you'd like to have. I chose Randy. Took it several several tries, but eventually I just picked Randy, just because you know it's Randy. So you can keep re-rolling and re-rolling into a character that you certainly like, or a character that's meta at the time. I don't know anything that's meta. I mean, I don't know anything that's meta, but Randy seems pretty good from from what I've done from what I've used him so far. He seems seems pretty good. So there are limit bursts in the game, or whatever you may consider limit bursts, a special attack that they do really strong attacks. There is a half limit burst, which is pretty powerful, and then there's a charge bar where it's basically a super limit burst. Basically, I'm I'm just making all these terms up, but you can kind of get consider what I, what I mean, like. In battle, there, there's a there's a little circle thing, and I'll show you guys in later in the video. But uh, it's pretty powerful. There's some pretty powerful abilities. There's a lot of other abilities, and also a lot of these abilities cost mana or MP or whatever you want to call it. So you can't just spam the ability. You kind of and there's a, also a normal attack, of course, uh, for smaller enemies. Of course, you'd probably want to do that. And I mentioned very quickly that this is very loading heavy game. <laughs> I actually increased the RAM size on this uh, system here. I can't apparently I can't mention what I'm playing on. I think in the terms of terms of the agreement, I can't actually tell you what I'm playing on apparently. But I just increased the RAM of this uh, system here. So with that being said, let's try getting into the gameplay. Also, the gacha is 2,700 per roll of the item, the currency. And as you can tell, you can move around. Now this is something different. This is something definitely different from what other games I've played, where it's a static screen. You can click around sometimes, but not much else. But you can actually move around in this area here. It's not as advanced as Genshin, of course, but Genshin's completely different. Uh, I would say Genshin's way more advanced than most other games. But I think that's pretty unique that you can actually go around and you know interact with stuff. And as you can tell, it's a little laggy, but it's closed beta again. Uh, it's, I know it's easy to complain about it, but it is closed beta, so just so you guys know about that. So, it is nice here that there's a lot of things that are in English. You know this is in Japanese. This is the Japanese version of this game. Pretty expected, but I think it's pretty nice. So obviously what lottery means is, is the gacha. So let's, let's show you the gacha first. So the characters you can reroll are three stars, but you can level them up much higher. Uh, and this appears that the gacha there is four stars. So four stars probably might be the highest you can pull as, and then you can raise them up higher. And I don't really know what to go for, obviously, because I don't know any anything that's good or bad. Um, so 
2700 to go for it and I'll just use a ticket here as they gave me on the login year. So why not just use this ticket? I don't know if I'll get anything good, but I'll try. Now from what I saw, the gold, yeah, I, I think I missed it because I paused it to, to cancel the loading, but there was a gold flash, which usually to me, I think that meant that was pretty good summon. Uh, there's also a blue, bluer flash, which seemed to me like it was a weaker summon. So, and also usually there were gold, not rainbow. So this might, that might've been like a four star guaranteed ticket that they gave me. Keep in mind, this is a beta, so everything after the beta is closed, none of this progress matters. So it's just nice, to, it's a little fun to see. And I got Riaz. So that's obviously a keeper for me. <laughs> got Riaz, and also she has an, ele uh, I don't know if this uh, element or status thing that... So some enemies are weak to certain things, and some enemies may be weak to this. I can't see, I don't know if you can see my mouse pointer, but... This thing in the top corner here, uh, some enemies may be weaker to this thing here or resistant to it. So there are things that are, you know, it's kind of like a combat system, uh, similar to like elements like in Brave Exia. So they may be weaker to this uh, thing here or they may be stronger against it, for example. I don't think I have any more tickets. I'm not sure why it's showing me that. Nope, I don't have any more. Anyways, let's go ahead and put her in the party. So here we are at the party system before the quest. And which is interesting in this game, it may seem like you only have three people on your team, but actually you have six. Uh, you can seamlessly sm smoothly trans transfer between sub and main um, from what I've seen. I don't know if there's like a cooldown period. I don't know if it, you can transition immediately like back and forth, but it seems like it seems easy enough. And it's very nice because you can get all you can have uh, all the units in your party gaining experience points. So. If I, if I ever get enough units, I'll try to have all these uh, people in, in all these sub sub spots here. And these two other characters are free, by the way, just because you know you can tell because they're two stars. But anyway, let's go ahead and put Riaz in the party. So here's the check character selection screen, and we obviously want to put Riaz uh, into this into this spot. So just click on her. Actually, I don't know what the point of dragging it is, but. Maybe if you had more characters, maybe if this whole screen was full of characters, then you would have to pull them down a little bit. But, I mean, as you can tell, we can't fit that last party member in there, so we'll have to go with five for now. And then, maybe as time progresses, I'll have more characters. Okay, all of our characters are loaded in. Now all you have to do is click on this button to get started. Keep in mind, guys, that there will be a lot of lag during this uh, combat sequence. And it's not, it's, it's a little somewhat, uh like old RPGs where you you do fight all the enemy or almost like a uh, old arcade arcade uh, beat em ups where you beat up all the enemies and you can progress to the next area but there's also a map included and also there's some treasure chests and things like that included as well all right whoops I accidentally dragged the the OBS screen so I'm so I'm pausing so much but this guy seems to be pretty difficult even though he's on a I guess maybe he's a boss. He's a lot of health, yeah. Uh, keep in mind, guys, again, this is in beta, so there's a lot of lag, unfortunately. Uh, it's more like a slide. It gets to be like a slideshow for a bit here, guys, unfortunately. So, yeah. But as I, I mentioned before, you can swap between your sub and your main there. So now your sub becomes your main. As you can tell there, there are several abilities that I can use. And the sword down there is more like a the lone burst and the the screen up the little circle above where it says combo next to it. I believe that's the main lone burst there. Uh, as you can tell I don't have that just yet. And as this guy is very tanky because it's lagging, that's that's for sure. Um I'm pretty sure the combat should be a lot more smooth than this. Usually, eventually does get the FPS goes back up, but uh, since this isn't closed beta, it's it's very laggy, unfortunately. Not much I can do about that, guys. I raised up the the RAM on the system to nine nine gigabytes of RAM, and it's still not really that great. 
Wow, this guy this guy is very tanky, I'll tell you that. For a this is this is only like the this is only like the seventh mission in the whole whole game so far, and this guy is uh, taking my hits like a champion, that's for sure. So as you can tell there, see where it says it says one? Now we got one part of that special loan verse there, which is interesting. And also this boss doesn't seem to be weak to anything. I was trying to show off maybe there, there were some enemies I could show off the word to say weakness. So where you would say where it says weak, it would tell you one of the, what it would be weak to, but this guy is not weak to anything, it seems like. There's also a dash back attack, where maybe if you are in danger of something, you would dash backwards. I'm sure it's more useful. I'm sure it'd be a lot more useful when you can actually play the game properly and not uh, have the slideshow. So. I almost have that uh, comp that that thing up there filled, so probably I'll be able to do a lot more damage here coming up soon. Be very nice. This game, it's usually a lot more playable at this at, after a certain point, but it's, it's it's still a slideshow. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm literally having one P FPS. I literally have one FPS right now. So let's go ahead and use the combo attack, main, main combo attack there. I believe that was necessary. I, I guess you weren't supposed to actually beat him. Yeah, it was a fixed battle. It was a fixed battle. So... That's why we were doing no, not much. I was really surprised because I was doing pretty good damage before this moment happened. So yeah, this is a definitely a fixed fight. I mean, he has the appearance of like a, a you know, an, an antagonist of some kind. So, oh, that seems like that was it. And I ranked up again. Interesting. As as expected, when you first start out, you get you rank up a whole lot, right? And as you saw there, we got experience points for everybody. Not a lot, but it's something. And you get a little bit of coins here and there. And let's move on. And as you complete stages, you unlock this card over here. I've unlocked most of it already, and it unlocks a, a, a pretty nice artwork, I would say. Pretty nice artwork. I don't know if it does anything else, but it looks like a nice artwork, at least. And as in most games, there are story parts, just like in Brave Exeus, uh, like in story events. For example, there's always a story segment. So there's been a few of those. Anyways, that's going to be it for this small i've only played i've only played about an hour so i don't know completely all the ins and outs i don't know if there's any more mechanics but if this is what some again that people like to watch i will go ahead and make more videos in the in the future but with that being said i think i've covered everything that you'll want to know about in the very beginning of the game gotcha 2700 and also the login system for this beta is 2550 so that's pretty generous i would say but again after the beta is over, everything gets cleaned, so it doesn't matter anyways. But it's still be, it'll, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And it seems like even if you pull three-star characters or whatever, you can still level them up to being higher rarity. So that's a good thing as well. That's a good thing. This game doesn't seem to be wholly based on gotcha so far. Um, I'm sure that might change in the future. But this could be like uh, other games where higher rarities aren't needed. You could, you could get by with lower rarities, which is very nice, I would say. Very nice. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, this is not sponsored. But if you want to sponsor me, Square Enix, you go ahead if, if you want to. There's very low production value here, but I try my best with what I have. And uh, let, me know in the, uh, let me know if you want to hear, see more gameplay. This is uh, Echoes of Mana, once again. And I think I'm having a good time so far. I think this is a pretty fun game so far. I think I think it's pretty good, other than the slideshow. But I can't, I'm not really complaining. I'm not. I'm just. I'm addressing it to you guys. I'm not really complaining about it because it's a, it's the first day of, first day of the closed beta, so I can't really say much about that, guys. Anyways, hope to see you in the next video. Peace.